Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I'm uploading a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today is Thursday, which means it is Throwback Thursday. This is a series that I started bringing to you last year at this time, and so many of you loved this series. And I got some suggestions in the comment section saying, why don't I do these Throwback Thursdays but add a new updated twist, update them a bit, because some of these DIYs are about four or five years old, and so they are a bit dated, and as they are amazing DIYs, there are ways to update them and do them using newer Dollar Tree items. And so I love this series. I think it's a fun one. And so I'm excited because it is that time of year where I'm gonna be bringing it back to you. A couple weeks ago, I started off with my first one and I redid the cotton and Q-tip holders in my bathroom. And I love the outcome of those. You all really liked them and wanted to know when I would be bringing this Throwback Thursday back. And so, like I said, it is Thursday today and I am bringing it back to you. And I am throwing back to these pillar candles that I did a while ago that I personalized. This candle here is just a regular pillar candle that you can get at the Dollar Tree, you can get at Walmart, and I DIY'd it and personalized it and put a picture of the kids on it. This makes for an amazing gift idea. It's easy to do, budget friendly. It's gonna cost you the cost of a candle, some tissue, some twine if you wanna add that, and all you need is a printer. If you haven't seen this DIY, I will link it in the description box below for you and on the end screen of this video. But because I loved this so much, there are other ways to DIY these pillar candles. And so I thought, you know what? These are not ways that I've shown you yet. And because I loved this DIY so much, I thought I'd bring it back to you again and I would put a new spin on it. You're gonna love this. This is a 100% Dollar Tree DIY. So let's not waste any more time. Let's throw back to I don't know how many Thursdays ago, how many years ago, and let's put a new spin on this candle and let me show you how quick and easy and budget friendly it is to DIY a pillar candle. You're gonna love this. It's fun to do too. Alrighty, so getting started with today's quick, easy, and most of all, super budget friendly DIY. I will be using two of these white pillar candles that you can get from the Dollar Tree and some of these harvest napkins that you can also get at the Dollar Tree. You can get decorative napkins at the Dollar Tree for just about any season, any holiday. And so today I am going to be cutting these up. And yes, I am using my cutting blade because it's just easier and one of Dollar Tree's mats. And I am using a ruler just so I get nice clean lines. I want to cut out the pumpkins themselves and because this was a two ply, you want to take off that second ply and just make it one napkin itself. It's going to be thin but that's okay. Once I've got it cut to size, to the size of my candle, I'm going to lay it on my candle been using this heating tool that I picked up at Joann's. It was probably $20 or $30, but of course I used a 50% off coupon and so I got it for half price. If you have a high heated blow dryer, you can use that as well. Once I've got the napkin good and in place, I'm going to just kind of run my heat gun over the top of the napkin. You don't want to go too close to the candle because you don't really want to melt it to the point where you're indenting the wax of the candle, you just want to melt it enough that that top layer is melting and it's going to seep through the napkin. And as you're doing it, you're going to see that your napkin gets wet and that it is then being adhered to your candle. Once I've got my first napkin applied, I am going to take a second image from my napkin. Now each napkin has two images, so you're really going to get a lot of this DIY with one pack of napkins. I did cut it to size because I wanted this candle to have the image on both sides. And again, I'm gonna put it in place and I'm gonna run my heating tool over the napkin 
just barely melting that top layer of the candle just to get it wet and you'll see as you do it how it just kind of seeps through the napkin and the napkin just kind of disappears which is pretty cool. For this second candle, I wanted to show you that you could get a couple of different designs on your candles using the same napkins. And so for this one, I just went ahead and cut off the pumpkins and I'm gonna use the word thankful and the real nice decorative border that's at the bottom. And again, I'm gonna go over it with my heat tool. Once I've got the bottom half of this napkin on the candle, I decided to cut off the border on another napkin and I'm gonna wrap that around the top just to kind of finish this off. And you'll see that as you do this, the seams kind of disappear on the napkins because of the wax. And so it ends up being a pretty seamless candle. Now, how fun is it to melt napkins onto candles? I love the outcome, and what's great about this is that Dollar Tree always has these decorative napkins for just about every season and holiday, and so you can really get creative. And just that easily, we have made some awesome personalized decorative candles out of Dollar Tree's napkins. I just love the look of these, but I will tell you, I'm not completely happy with them. I think that just adding a bit of embellishment to them will add to them even more. And so you know me, I love twine, and a couple of months ago, I picked up a bunch of colored twine from Michaels. Picked up an orange, a black, a brown, a green, really getting ready for the holiday season. And I think just by adding just a few rows of this to the top of the pumpkin is really gonna do the trick. And I think just to finish it off even more, I'm gonna add one of my twine bows. And I think that this is the perfect finishing touch to these. And I love them, quick, easy, and like I said, super budget friendly. Now, some of you may ask if these are candles that you can burn. I strongly suggest that you don't do that because of the twine and because of the napkin that we adhered onto the candle itself. I feel like there are candles that are just meant for decorative purposes and I would definitely consider these just decorative candles. up a napkin would make a candle so gorgeous. Dollar Tree also has some really nice decorative gift wrapping tissue that would make for another great alternative to napkins. I love doing candles. Candles are one of my favorite things to DIYs. I can't have enough candles in my house, although I don't burn them. I do have them as decorative pieces and I think that they just kind of add some warmth, make the home a bit homier. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes it more homier. Why not? I hope you all enjoyed today's Throwback Thursday with a twist, the new updated version. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to, you guessed it, 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive and...